This is a two part video and uh, welcome back to Two Brother Vlogs guys. No, so that's not how you say it. What's up in YouTube? Welcome back to Two Brother Vlogs. So it's a, this is a two part video and welcome to the first part and we are going to talk about the bad bits there is about the safari. We also have done the XUV 700 good and bad. Check those videos out and whatever you find accessible you can purchase one. So welcome welcome to the safari review. This is the top of the line before the gold version which has just come out. And Dark it, edition and the yeah. gold edition. So talking about the gripe here. This tailgate. It is so hard so to heavy. lift. It yeah. is heavy as freakingly difficult to lift this. I can see why Mahindra has gone for the you know the uh, thermoplastic yeah. tailgates. These are heavy as in literally my son can hang over this and it will not come down. They could have given, you know, a button, push button to open it. It is missing on this. It's actually for missing on both the cars. Yeah. For such a heavy tailgate, it is mandatory. I don't think somebody who is short can, can actually pull this that easily. And also to close this, you need to do that. Otherwise, it won't shut. With the tailgate open with all the seven seats in position, look at the amount of, or should I say, the lack of, you know, booth space. You can hardly put anything here, you just have an umbrella and it's occupy the entire space here. That's difficult. With it, you know, push down, there's much more place. But with the seats up, I wouldn't say anything there. You see this, this is not the proper way to place a belt. Whenever you sit, whenever the three people... Chupta hai. Let the car start, I'll sh you can listen to the clatter. Rev. Proper safari. And the lights. I mean, you're paying so much. You lack LED, LED, LED. No LED, except for the DRM. You you are paying close to 26, 27 lakhs. You get to choose four to five variants in the safari range, but you don't have a choice in in the engine options you only get diesel that's a big drawback you need the petrol you need a diesel nowadays uh, many cars are actually coming up with petrol diesel and electric in the same car so yeah. the reason for that you know diesel cars have a lot more you know diesel clatter is what we're talking about they're not as refined as petrol engine no matter how smooth the diesel engine is it can never compete with the petrol engine when it comes to smoothness yes diesel engines produce a lot more torque the screen in the safari is too small and uh, there is very little things which you can do to this and there is wireless android auto and apple carplay and if you go to apple carplay this is the google maps the screen shrinks to probably what this is what not even five inches six inches for example i have my phone here smaller than that yeah and also this is laggy as in, when you it's compare good. it to the competition, wow, that is, it is generally not that bad. <laughs> it is generally happened. not this bad. But yes, there is a definite substantial lag in the system. And uh, Tata has to up their game in this market, in this front especially. You know, let's talk about the display there. You know, the dials which are up ahead as well. It's very basic. Uh, I, you feel very outdated. Especially in that front, when you and compare this, to the this car is again 26 lakhs, right? 26, 27 lakhs. Yes. Uh, Tata's lower end uh, cars, for example, the Altros and all, get the same screen. I think you need to up your graphics and uh, infotainment screen. Yeah, the a crispness more. of the displays yes. and the quality of the displays have to be amped up because that is quite outdated. And sticking to that portion, we'll continue with the camera. Look at that resolution there. Uh, that's honestly a joke of a resolution that is from early 2000s. And there is no front camera, there are no side camera, so you'll not get any 360 view here. You'll only get the rear camera and the guidelines. And the resolution is extremely poor. Steering feels so heavy while taking a U-turn. It's, it's unbearable, yeah, this thing. It feels like as if I'm driving a truck or something. It's that heavy. Lorry, no. lorry. Pretty much. Uh, the Hexa had this feature or it had a very heavy steering wheel. 
Like even this car has the same thing. And it's slightly higher speeds. The ha the steering becomes so weak and it becomes non weak actually. Yeah, it becomes non-responsive at all. As in you don't understand what the front wheels are doing, which is a very scary thing if you're especially on the highways. Uh, it's very strange the behavior of the steering wheel. It low actually, speeds, it's heavy. Yeah, it actually has to be opposite. At yeah. low speed, it should be uh, light, and high speeds, the steering should wait up. But this car is quite opposite. Uh, no idea why does it do that. Steering wheel looks really good. It really looks and it feels really expensive because this is leather and the materials around are fine. But the center piece of this, this that plastic piece. Yeah, this is cheap. No, I they, I they need to define a new word for this. This feels very. I don't know. It feels yuck. And also, there are no ticket holders in this car, up top on both sides. So that's a miss out point. You know what? This. You just did something, and then this pointed out another flaw for me. These are quite big. So you do this. <laughs> the only visibility I have is this much, basically. <laughs> you need to do that. But this position, I don't have any visibility up ahead. Music system in this is. Loud. It's really, really loud. But it really lacks bass. Really lacks bass. Okay, the door is not shut, but this thing. The only prompt which you get is this small indication here. That is a problem which you have. And all the even the high beam location is so small. The beam location is small. Auto hold location is small. It's very hard to read. And this car feels big to yeah. drive in the city, especially because of the weighted steering wheel or the sheer size of it. You can actually feel you while driving that car. Generally, when you drive, most cars shrink around you. Yeah. This is not that. This feels big. This feels massive. And you'll be like, okay, it's literally like a truck kind of feeling you have whenever you're driving. You are aware of how big the car is when you are turning, which is not generally a good sign. It is a big car, obviously. It's got that dimensions to be a very big car, but when you drive it, it doesn't wrap feel... around you. Yeah. And Srijan, we were actually having a small discussion. We would like you guys to involve yourselves in that as well. This car has got a few modes. Terrain response system. So it's got road. It's got wet. It takes a time to load, and it's got rough road. Huh? Rough road. So I say that it it doesn't make any sense for a four by two vehicle. This car has is a front wheel drive. It's not even a rear wheel drive. I would say this is just a waste, and you can remove this and save a lot of money. Uh, yes and no because you know I feel they may be changing the suspension settings slightly, or uh, tweaking the suspension. A no, this bit. doesn't have any dynamic suspension as such. So I don't know what does it do. It does it because see these are the modes. These are the modes. You have echo and sport, sport. mode. So again, there's a complication <laughs> here. Why are these here? Why is this there? You can have a sports mode in this itself. Yes, true. You can have an echo mode in this itself, and it's a little complicated. It's a little difficult for me to understand, fathom what what does what do. But yeah, in general, we come to an understanding that it is not as required. What do you guys think? Just do Some, let us know in the comment section, right? Yeah, something like this. Do you think it's just a gimmick, or does it actually have a function? Like even something again similar, you know, fog lights for this car are here. This is the fog light button. The lights are not on yet. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you see, that is the only indication that the fog lights are on. The green small light. Why is it here, here and not on the stock? As traditionally, usual, yeah. yes, it's a little strange. Few things in this car. Which maybe once you own it for a longer period of time, you'll get used to it. But these are definitely a few quirky things. But yeah, the move. You hit your knee to the dash. This point exactly. You see this uh, while driving. Uh, most of the, most of us basically we try. If it's an automatic, we rest one of our legs. Like exact opposite is happening to Strujan. This portion is actually hitting this plastic cladding here. Put no put videos now. Maybe probably this thing looks like that VG uh, camera start and put the quality yeah, image <coughs> VG camera. Ah, quality on them. So bad. And think of wide angle good. Ah, time very good. Then I got that angle. Number two gun pistol. Hey, what the na? Think of good gun pistol. Then that bonnet release for this car is slightly different to compare to other cars. I'm trying to figure it out how. This is heavy. 
one eternity later the boot release for this car is tough i think we don't know how to exactly open the boot or bonnet it how to we don't know exactly how to open the bonnet of this the car the latch is there but it's not opening don't don't put that force you might break the lock if you guys know how to open the bonnet of this car please no, pin down in the comment that section that was the latch here for so some yeah, reason i made there's a, there's a latch here exactly below a but even if you are pressing it's not opening so i think it got stuck we can't get over this fact of what you just made this name into no srijan anna fans association rohit limited included sorry <laughs> limited <laughs> so yes stay tuned for the next uh, video as well where we talk about the good bits about this car thank then based on these two videos goods about that and bads about that and goods and bads about this you can actually come to a decision because these are both pretty closely matched in terms of pricing in, in term terms of performance as well in terms of positioning in the market so so stay tuned for the next vlog where we talk of the good the good bits about this car the goods the goods the goods ye car nahi hota tank hota tank hota yeah, good bits about this tank see you guys in the next vlog until next time peace out ite vittinu are ad ardha kaate ra kappala undi car itla ta chroma For me, I hate chrome. I hate chrome on any car. It as as much as possible, we tend to Do chrome, chrome delete. delete. Yeah. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> words, man. Words come out of each other's mouths. Eh?